What's going on, everybody? This is your girl, Tammy, a.k.a. I'll Run USA. Thank y'all for tuning in to another video. Now, today's video, we have another snack crate. Yes, we have another snack crate. And as you can see, today's snack crate will be coming from Germany. Yes, we will be trying out some German snacks on today. Now, if this is your first time seeing one of my snack crate videos, how I do my videos is I rate each snack. I try it out and I give it a rating. Give it a thumbs up if I like it, thumbs down if I don't like it, and an in-between if I'm stuck in between. This is the in-between. <laughs> if I'm not sure if I really like it or don't like it, I'm stuck in between, it gets this. So, and also, if you hear anything mispronounced, and I mean anything, just pretend you didn't hear it, all right? And it'll go good for all of us. So, without further ado, before I start the snacks, though, I'm going to read what they call some fun facts, give you some fun facts about Germany. All right, so with each snack crate, they always send this little pamphlet inside each snack crate box, and it's always a photo on the front showing some things that each country is known for, and Germany must be known for their beer, and of course they showed you the flag and the pretzel. So they must be known for their beer and their pretzels. <laughs> and like I mentioned, the fun facts. I'm gonna read some fun facts about Germany. Fun fact number one, prison escape is not illegal in Germany. German law states that it's human nature to want to be free. So prisoners have the right to escape jail. Don't worry about going to prison in Germany and escaping. You have that right. <laughs> it's illegal to run out of fuel on the Autobahn. Poor planners have be, can be fined and have their license suspended for up to six months. If you run out of gas in Germany, your license can be suspended for six months because of poor planning. Make sure you have enough gas. It's all right to escape prison, but don't run out of gas. <laughs> Over 800 million currywurst are eaten in Germany each year. This widely popular sausage even has its own museum in Berlin. They have a museum dedicated to sausages. You walk around and see sausages all day long. Then you go to the cafeteria and you eat some sausages. <laughs> Bavarians have a tradition called for shopping. That means having a glass of beer before noon. They claim it aids digestion and boosts the metabolism. Despite its name, the game Chinese Checkers was invented in Germany in 1892. Chinese Checkers was invented in Germany in 1892. Well, that is the fun facts for today. Now, remember, if you ever go to Germany, do not run out of gas. You do not want your license suspended <laughs> for six months. But if you go to prison, feel free to escape. It's human nature. So those were the fun facts. Now we're on to the snacks. And our first snack will be this. Lay's paprika. Paprika Lay's. But before we get into it, let's read up on it a little bit. All right, so you get this right here also with the snack crate. Detailing a little something about the snacks that you're gonna be trying out. Lay's paprika. These crispy potato chips have the perfect balance of bell pepper spice and fresh potato goodness, making them irresistible for any snacker. They're about to be irresistible. Let's give it a try. All right, so we're gonna open up the Lay's paprika. Give it a good shake. Let that bell pepper and potatoes, you know. All right, an easy open. And there you have it. Lay's paprika.
Thumbs up. It almost tastes barbecue to me. It almost tastes like barbecue chips. But this is the Lay's Paprika. All your nutrition facts are on the back. They're written in German, so I have no idea what it says. But we're on to the next snack. The first snack got a thumbs up. All right, so the first snack got a thumbs up. So we're off to a good start. Our next snack will be this. It's something written in German. Uh, Fruit Tiger Nusper Ufries Mit Mus. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's read up on it. All right, so the Nusper Puffries. <laughs> Nusper Puffries. <laughs> uh, tiny little bits of puff corn with a light, fruity, and slightly sour flavor that literally pops in your mouth as they hit your tongue. Slightly sour flavor that literally pops in mouth as they hit your tongue. So let's give these uh, Nuff Spur Puffries a try. All right, so opening it up. Open it, got it open, easy open. As you can see, it's a lot of little, these little tiny bits, as I said. <laughs> these little tiny things, colorful. Just try it out. Not a fan of this snack at all. This gets a thumbs down. All right, so the second snack got a thumbs down. I thought from the look of it that it was gonna taste like some cereal or something. Like I could take it, pour it in a bowl, put some milk and eat it like cereal, but that was not a good snack for me, so it got a thumbs down. Now we're on to the third snack, which will be this. The Biffy, the original Caraza. The Biffy Caraza. Let's read up on it. All right, so reading up on the Biffy, bye bye, Biffy. Original Carraza. It says calling all pizza lovers. I'm a pizza lover. Calling all pizza lovers. This pocket-sized pizza has a soft dough surrounding a zesty combination of fresh tomato and cheese filling. Hmm. I might actually like this. We shall see. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna open up this pizza lover snack and give it a try hmm this is what it looks like <laughs> looks like a little roll or something <laughs> or a donut <laughs> let's give it a try Tastes like something that should be like in a Lunchables box. <laughs> this is good. It does taste like a pizza, like a cold pizza that was inside a Lunchables box or something. You got your sauce in there, you got your cheese inside there. This is actually good. Like I said, this is something that seemed like you could find in a Lunchables box. This is the beefy, bye bye beefy Carraza. Thumbs up. Moving on to the next snack. All right, so that third snack, that pizza lover snack, got a thumbs up. Now we're moving on to the next snack, which is, you see that word corny, <laughs> big, corny. This is the corny big 
Erdness Shoko. <laughs> Not sure what that says on the side. Erdness Shoko. <laughs> anyway, let's read up on it. Okay, so reading up on the corny Erdness Shoko. The perfect bite for those who love peanuts and chocolate. This crunchy cereal bar is ideal for hungry snackers looking for big flavor. Cereal bar. At first look, I thought it was a candy bar. It's a cereal bar with peanuts and chocolate. Let's give it a try. All right, so we got our corny bar. <laughs> our corny cereal bar. Going to open it up now. All right, we see the peanuts and the chocolate chocolate on that side peanuts on that side let's give it a try mm -hmm. this gets an in between Has the oats on there as well. This gets an in between. Not gonna give it a thumbs up. Not gonna even thumb down. In between. Moving on to the next snack. All right, so the last snack got an in between. So we're moving on to the next snack, which will be this. Says the Marma Kuchen Gatu Marble Marble Cake Marble Cake But before we try it out, let's read up on it. Alright, so reading up on the Marma Kuchen This decadent treat features moist chocolate and vanilla sponge cake swirled together to create the perfect mix of flavors in every bite. It said marble cake. Let's give it a try. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna give this a try. Give it a try. We can get it open. <laughs> hmm. Almost looks like a swish roll, the way it's shaped or, yeah. Looks like a swish roll almost. Try it out. Mm-hmm. Marble cake. Mm-hmm. This definitely gets a thumbs up. That little piece dropped off, but yeah, that <laughs> gets a thumbs up. All the way. <laughs> Moving on to the next snack. All right, so the last snack got a thumbs up. That definitely was a tasty snack. We are moving on to the next snack, which is Knoppers. It looks like it says milk, but I guess that's milk. It says M-I-L-C-H instead of M-I-L-K. But before we try it out, let's read up on it. All right, so reading up on the knoppers, this snack features layers of crunchy wafer, smooth milk cream, and a rich hazelnut spread, all working together in perfect flavor harmony. You got your crunchy wafer, your milk cream, and your hazelnut spread coming together in harmony. <laughs> Let's try it out. All right, so going to open this up this came together in harmony here it's coming apart too in harmony it's melting <laughs> that's what it looks like that's the crispy wafer then you have your hazelnut and your milk cream all smushed together in harmony chocolate let's try it out
Not a big fan of it. It's okay. It tastes all right, but it wouldn't be my choice of a snack, a go-to snack. I'm going to give this an in-between. It's okay. It's not, like, I'm not going crazy over it. This wouldn't be a snack that I would be like, oh, I need one of those snoppers. But it's okay. I'll give it an in-between. So, we're moving on to the last snack. So, we're down to the last snack. And the last snack is <laughs> all these little candies right here. They sent five of them. Five little candies. All different flavors. It says a Hodge Bros. <laughs> know if you can see that but anyway it says a hodge bros let's read up on it all right so reading up on the a hodge bonbons got a different word here on here but these sweet and fruity hard candies may look innocent but prepare your mouth for the fizzy surprise of a lifetime when you bite down. They may look innocent, but there's a fizzy surprise of a lifetime when you bite down. <laughs> Let's give it a try. All right. So we're going to try out <laughs> this last snack for this Snack Crate Germany box. And as it said, it's a fruity hard candy. Looks like a regular candy. But if you know, if you can see inside, it is a little something, something right there inside. That's the fizzy surprise. Mm. Yeah. When you bite down, it definitely does surprise you. <laughs> okay. Wasn't bad. Definitely give these a thumbs up. That fizzy surprise, it came bursting out, but then afterwards they just kind of died down. <laughs> and it's just like you're eating a regular hard candy again. So yes, you do get the fizzy surprise. Comes out for a quick second, dies down, and it's back to normal. So anyway, it got a thumbs up. All right, so that was all of the snacks for the Snack Crate Germany video. Got some thumbs up, thumbs down, some in-betweens, but had a great time tasting the snacks from Germany. All right, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Hit that thumbs up button. And also, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel because I do have more videos coming your way. Yes, your way. So stay tuned, keep watching. And also, have you tried any of these snacks that you've seen in this video today? If you have, let me know in the comment section below. And if you haven't tried any of these snacks, let me know in the comment section below which snacks you are interested in trying. So until next time, I will see you guys. Peace. I will see you guys next time. Peace.